swine influenza, also called pig influenza, swine flu, hog flu, and pig flu, is an infection caused by any one of several types of swine influenza viruses. Swine influenza virus, SIV, or swine origin influenza virus, SOIV, is any strain of the influenza family of viruses that is endemic in pigs. As of 2009, the known SIV strains include influenza Z and the subtypes of influenza A, known as H1N1, H1N2, H2N1, H3N1, H3N2, and H2N3. Swine influenza virus is common throughout pig populations worldwide. Transmission of the virus from pigs to humans is not common and does not always lead to hum human flu, often resulting only in with the production of antibodies in the blood. Of if transmission does cause human flu, it is called zoonotic, swine flu. People with regular exposure to pigs are at increased risk of swine flu infection. Around the mid 20th century, identification of influenza subtypes became possible, allowing accurate diagnosis of transmissions to humans. Since then, only 50 such transmissions have been confirmed. These strains of swine flu rarely pass from human to human. In Mexico, on April 27 of 2009, all schools nationwide remained closed until at least May 6. Health Minister Cordova noted that the number of new cases had declined during the three days from 141 on Saturday to 119 on Sunday and 110 on Monday. This was the biggest infection of influenza, influenza that has kicked Mexico. The most common diseases on the respiratory system are laryngitis, which consists swelling and irritation of the larynx, bronchitis, an infection in your bronchial tubes, pneumonia, an infection deep in your lungs, influenza, a virus that enters the body through your nose and mouth and causes fever, headaches, muscle aches, and sore throat, asthma, a chronic disease in which your airway walls become sore and swollen, narrowing so that your lungs get less air, and tuberculosis, a bacterial infection that attacks the lungs and other parts of the body and can be deadly if not treated correctly. Most of the respiratory system diseases like influenza and bronchitis, can be treated with a range of medication and therapies that are used in response to the disease. Treatments may be directly targeted to the virus itself, but other diseases like asthma may be required to work with your doctor and other healthcare providers to create and follow an asthma action plan. Other treatments, for example, for lung cancer, may include surgery that may be used to remove the tumor along with the diseased part of the lung or radiation therapy which uses powerful high energy x-rays to kill cancer cells or to keep them from growing. It exists to the chemotherapy. This means that they use special drugs to destroy cancer cells throughout the body. It means be used at different times throughout treatment for multiple reasons like to kill cancer cells string tumors or provide relief from side effects. Some ways to prevent many types of respiratory system related diseases. You should not smoke or stop smoking. Wash your hands after coughing and sneezing. Avoid polluted air and secondhand smoke. Exercise more. It helps your lungs get stronger. And if you have any type of chronic disease, you should contact your doctor about it and treat it correctly.